So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Speedboxing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section. If you have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, it really helps me out. If you guys could drop me a quick sub on my channel, it is highly appreciated. So according to the promotional team Patriot, who handle affairs for former WBA super middleweight champion Fedor Trudenov, who recently signed a fight to face George Groves, for the vacant WBA super middleweight title apparently this fight is going to land on the undercard of Daryl Spence Kell Brook pay-per-view on May 27th and this is very interesting I think that's a very good fight to be on this undercard you, we all know about Errol Spence and Kell Brook this is a very anticipated fight a lot of people are split a lot of people think Kell Brook will be too experienced and he's going to school Errol Spence and on the other side, you've got a lot of people saying Errol Spence is the future of boxing. And he's going to go in there and wipe the floor with Kell Brook and prove he's the guy now at welterweight. And George Groves and Fedor Trudinoff as a co-main event, I think that's a very good fight. It's a world title fight. You've got George Groves trying to win a world title in his fourth attempt. And you've got Fedor Trudinoff who's travelling to another guy's country. He's travelled before when he fought Frank Buglione, when he defended his belt against Frank Buglione. It was on a smaller platform, it was on a Frank Warren show, and this will be in front of 25, 30,000 people at Bramwell Lane, so it will be a totally different atmosphere. But Fedor Trudinov seems to me like the kind of character who won't let the big crowd affect him. I think he'll go in there and try and put on a good performance against George Groves. But George Groves has looked fantastic in his last two fights, in my opinion. He's looked well since he switched trainers and hooked up with Shane McGuigan. And especially in his last two fights against Martin Murray, in which he dominated Martin Murray. And then he fought Edward Gutenek. And he battered Edward Gutenek to pick up a 12 round unanimous decision. And then tragically, we all know Edward Gutenek collapsed in his changing room after and was in a coma. And is still recovering in hospital back in his home country of Germany but yeah this is now or never for George Groves in my opinion I think this is his last chance to win a world title and if he loses the fight then where does he go from here in my opinion uh, I think George Groves will retire if he loses this fight so it's now or never he's looking the best he ever has well he's looking like he did in his early days when he was on the up before the Frotch fights and the Badu Jack fight and I think this is his best chance to win a world title. So to win it on a big event like this, I think it will do wonders for him. And it will set up future unification fights, probably with his rival in the sport, James DeGale. If he still holds the IBF title, I think that's a big money fight for George Groves. But Fedor Trudinoff is a very dangerous opponent. But I'm picking George Groves to win this fight just for the fact Fedor Trudinov is a very small super middleweight, in my opinion. And George Groves is a very big super middleweight. And I think if he manages to establish his jab and be the stronger guy in the, in the clinchers and in the exchangers, I think he'll be able to rough Fedor Trudinov up and put on a dominant performance. So yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm not going to go on too much about this. George Groves, Fedor Trudinov looking like it's going to co main event. The Kelbrook Errol Spence fight. Comment below in the comment section.